Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some Halloween decor and costume shopping at Goodwill in the 99 cent only store. So as you probably know by now, I'm planning to do 31 days of costumes for October as I do every single year. But this year, I'm really trying to step up my game. I'm really trying to put together every single costume that I do. I don't wanna just buy cheap Halloween costumes at Goodwill. And also, as you'll see, Goodwills do not have costumes the way that they usually do. And I think it's a result of COVID. So I think most people are gonna have to be pretty inventive when it comes to costumes, or they're just gonna have to buy pre-made costumes, which, I mean, when I talk about those kind of costumes, they're usually like crap quality, and you're much better off just trying to kind of make something yourself or buying individual pieces from um, a retailer and you know kind of putting those things together. But today I was able to hit Goodwill and I was able to hit the 99 cent only store as well. There are two Goodwills that are like right next to each other. It makes it so easy. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of my journey there and then I'm gonna show you everything that I bought because I actually had a lot of success in finding individual pieces that I've been looking for for a while. Some things I did have to compromise a little bit on, but I think in the end, it was a really good haul. And also, I got some really cool stuff at the 99 cent only store, which this is my very first trip there since Halloween has begun. So if you wanna see more of like everything that I got, stay tuned. If you're new here, thank you for popping into this video. My name is Cass, AKA the Queen of Glitter, and we do pretty fun, magical, currently spooky things here. Crafts, DIYs, um, pretty much anything to do with Disney, it's all gonna be here on my channel. So if you're into that, why don't you just click that subscribe button and stay a while. But enough of this intro, let's go ahead and jump, skip a nut, ah, to the video. Good morning, friends. I've just pulled up to my favorite Goodwill and I'm literally so early, I'm here right as they're opening, that I actually got a parking spot and there are literally three parking spots at this Goodwill and that is it. Otherwise, you have to try to park in the street. But this is one of my favorite ones. I think a lot of people don't come here just because it's such a pain in the ass to park and it's a little bit smaller, but I found so many amazing things. So I have my list with me. I have the items that we still need for all these costumes. So hopefully, hopefully we can find what we need today. I'm praying that I get at least most of these items inside this Goodwill today. So let's head on inside. And if we can't find what we need here, there is a Goodwill that's a little bit further down the street. So double whammy, baby. This is literally the bag they gave me because they no longer have normal bags. So. And I got a cauldron. Wow. Okay, just got to Goodwill number two. It literally took me five minutes, not even, probably three minutes. So let's go in. I still have some things on this list I want to try to grab and let's see. The Halloween section honestly was pretty sad at the first Goodwill. And I think this is a COVID problem. Like we used to have giant like sections of Halloween costumes and I have not seen that yet at any Goodwill. So. It's very interesting. We'll see what it looks like inside this Goodwill. Okay, so I'd call that mildly successful. I did find some of the items that I was still looking for, but I also just kind of compromised and bought some things that I'm gonna have to transform a bit more than I had originally wanted, but you know, that is what it is. Um, I still, of course, have some things that I still don't have, but I think we have a lot more than we did. I'm also actually right across the street from a 99 cent only store, which I haven't been to yet for Halloween. So I definitely wanna pop over there real quick and see if I can find some of the like items I was hoping to find at Goodwills that I haven't been able to find because the Halloween selection is pretty, pretty slim. Oh my gosh, there was a moment there where I thought that there was no Halloween section and I was like, I can't believe I missed all the Halloween stuff at Dollar Tree already. <laughs> and then I found it. So then I felt pretty stupid because I was gonna leave and I'm glad that I walked through the aisles. 
note to self do that more often but yeah um there's some really good stuff I got so many things actually that I'm really excited about and some kind of cute more decorative things like these really cool kind of skull cups I'll show you guys everything that I got but um let's go ahead and head back and we'll do a little bit of a haul and I'm going to show you guys all the items that I picked up today at Goodwill and at the Dollar Tree is the pumpkin witch she's got her like pumpkin aesthetic that's kind of what i was going off with we got lots of the greens and basically i was inspired by this shirt and i was like i'm a pumpkin witch today i hang out in a pumpkin patch and i make pumpkin potions <laughs> i can't wait to show you guys everything that i got oh my gosh i think it is gonna be I can't, I feel like this just sums up my life. Like this giant trash bag full of Goodwill thrifted clothing. Like I'm embarrassed, except I'm not. I'm gonna have to do a lot of selling after we do all these costumes because whew, it's gonna be hard to breathe in this room. That's how it happens though, you get rid of all your clothes and then you buy an entire new wardrobe for like three people. <laughs> Okay, so they were out of regular Goodwill bags, so everything's in this giant trash bag, and we're just gonna roll with that. So normally I might show you guys these pieces on, but since most of them I'm actually going to be using for Halloween costumes, I don't want to show you the piece on just yet. I kind of want to let there be a little bit more of a surprise when you see the entire costume together, but I'll always be sure to point out which pieces of those costumes were thrifted, and um, yeah, so hopefully you guys can get some kind of Halloween inspo for yourselves because I mean, most people I know are not making their Halloween costumes like in September, that's just me. Without further ado, let's dive in, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna start with things that I got at the first Goodwill. So going in there, the Halloween section was basically like one rack for women's clothing and one rack for men's clothing. And this Goodwill actually had the most Halloween of the two Goodwills, but still it was a very small amount. Um, and I actually talked to the lady there and she told me that, yeah, they normally do have a larger section, but it was very small and that's basically the way that it's gonna stay. It's not gonna get any bigger than that this year. That's all their Halloween stuff. So that tells me that, you know, we're probably not gonna be able to find that many more Halloween costumes at Goodwills, which really stinks because that is, you know, this is my favorite time of year to like find awesome costumes for super cheap. Say love me though. Okay, so this first dress, I think is clearly a dance costume, but I thought this was so, so cool and it's gonna be perfect for a witchy look. So this beautiful, oh, it's backwards. This beautiful outfit, it's got this tutu that has multiple layers of crinoline, reds, yellows, oranges, this little bit of a flower here, and then the sleeves being like this with the red. I just feel like this is like a little fire witch look, like something that's even a little bit more fall, especially depending on the way that you edit the photos, you can kind of change the colors to be a little bit more soft. But I just thought this was too good, and it looks like it's actually gonna fit me pretty well. So I'm very excited, definitely, to put together a look with this. And I think it's gonna fit in really well with my Instagram kind of color scheme right now, because we're staying in those hues of oranges. And this was $10. Okay, next, also from the costume section of that Goodwill, was this really cute Christmas dress, which, I mean, obviously this is supposed to be like a play on like the ugly Christmas sweater, but in a dress, but I actually think it's really cute and it's just giving me like major elf vibes. And it's something that I would actually wear. It is from the girls section at Walmart and it still has like the tags on it, but um, this was also $10 and it's a girl's large, so I feel like this should actually fit me pretty well. And it looks like it's about my size. So it is difficult, like you can't try anything on a Goodwill anymore. So I kind of just have to eyeball it and try to like be like, well, I think that will and or won't look good on me at all. So but I think this is super duper cute. Next, we've got just a very basic, um, this is a lime green tank top. And so this is gonna be for a character during my 31 days. I am doing Jurgen Von Strangle from the Fairly Odd Parents. And I have pretty much every piece of this costume, except I don't have a lime green tank top. So I went ahead and got this. This was really cheap. This was only $4. So um, th this is exactly what I wanted to do. I didn't want to have to spend like actual money. I just wanted to spend goodwill money on a piece that's gonna work. And then I'll probably end up selling this later on. Next is something else that I'm really excited about. So this was also in the costume section. I honestly 
there were like maybe one or two other things that I like didn't find in the costume section, but there was this one giant skirt that I really wanted, but I was like, you don't need another like ball gown size skirt. You already have too many, it's out of hand. But I got this really cute vintage cheerleading uniform. And actually these colors are very much like Rydell High Archie Comics. Um, and the little top is a sweater. The zipper on the back is um, stuck. We could not get it open when we were at Goodwill. The lady was trying to like help me open it and it was not budging, it still isn't budging. But I think I can just put it over my head, it should be fine. And if I need to like seam rip it and then put it in a new zipper, that's fine as well. I just thought this was so cute. Um, it does have like someone's name, Diane, on the front, but look, it's like barely tacked on, so it's gonna be really easy just to remove this. Um, and if I wanna add, you know, something else to the front of it, I can. But I feel like this is super cute vintage vibes and I just really like it. And I think that it'll definitely will come into play. I used to have a cheerleading costume, but um, that was a long time ago and it doesn't really fit me anymore. So I do also wear cheerleading skirts as regular clothing items. So there's that. Okay, next from that Goodwill, um, this is a dress that was completely unused from Zara. And it's not, you know, my usual style. Um, but it does have like a wrap kind of waist. I honestly haven't like even seen it out of this configuration because you're not allowed to try anything on. You're not really allowed to like be messing around with the clothes at all. Um, but yeah, I, it's very like a simple silhouette, but with the tie, I think I can make it work for me. And just because it's that, this beautiful sparkly and it's literally orange and black striped, like that's so Halloween. Like I just absolutely had to do that for sure. And this was, $8.99. I don't know if I said, the cheerleading uniform was also $10. So next, this is pretty simple, um, but it's just a simple blue button down in this kind of like normal school uniform shade because I am doing Anne Hathaway's look from Princess Diaries. I will be doing a transforming from um, her like cute little plaid skirt outfit to her as a princess. So I'm very excited about this. And this was $6. So now I picked these both up at the same time, but honestly it works because I'm gonna talk about them as a pair. So um, I am doing Dark Phoenix and she has a very, I'm trying to do the outfit that's more of a reference to the original trilogy with like Hugh Jackman and uh, I uh, I love Jean Grey. Um, and people have been requesting that I do her for a while. So I wanted to try to do the burgundy outfit that she wears when she goes like full on evil. So there are a couple different pieces. I got this jacket at a different Goodwill that I really feel like looks like the jacket she's wearing even though it isn't the same material, the color schemes there. So I decided I wasn't gonna care so much about material because I didn't want to spend a bunch of money actually making this cosplay because it would definitely cost a lot of money. Um, but I was able to get this button down shirt in the right color scheme. This was also $6. Um, and this is definitely very similar to kind of like the color that she has. And then she has kind of like, it's not really a skirt, but it's like pieces of fabric kind of flowing around her leggings. So I got this skirt that's more of like a wrap and it's a high low. So I feel like it could definitely work. It's actually from Topshop. It still has the Topshop tag on here. And this was only $6. So um, I'm really like have found most of the pieces for that look. So I'm really excited about that. Cause that was one where I was missing a lot of the pieces that I didn't want to have to spend again, like money on Amazon buying like a button down burgundy shirt. I was hoping to find it at a Goodwill for cheap. Okay, next from the first Goodwill is this dress that I got for um, my Taylor Swift aesthetic. So I was looking online, I was looking around, and I couldn't really find a dress that I felt like looked exactly like the one that she wears in the music video for Cardigan. But this one at least is very like gauzy and light, um, even though the shape of the neckline is completely wrong and um, it's not quite as long as the one that she wears, I feel like the aesthetic is here. And since I have the actual cardigan, which I'm very excited about, I feel like I'll be able to um, kind of just like work everything in together and it's gonna be fine. So this was $8.99. Okay, this next thing I'm really excited about because I've been looking for this for a while. So I am gonna be doing Samwise from Lord of the Rings because I love him, Sam's the best. And I've been looking for this kind of like dark brown, kind of woolish or like, kind of weathered looking jacket that he has. Um, and I've really struggled to find something that even looks similar to it. And then I found this at Goodwill today and it has pockets in the exact same place. The shape is very, very similar. It does look, you know, a little bit like nicer and newer and these, these buttons are definitely wrong, but I feel like the shape and everything is perfect. So if I can even just like weather it a little bit, I feel like this could be 
absolutely the perfect thing for Sam and I'm really happy um, that costume is definitely coming together as well. And then I got this skirt, which I just, I mean, I thought it was just so witchy and so cute. I love the way that it flares here. It also reminds me of the 90s movie, The Craft, like that kind of witch aesthetic. So it's very much like schoolgirl witch. Um, so I definitely had to have this. It was $5.99. Another witchy find is this long um, circle skirt. And I just thought it was really beautiful. It has all of this different applique. Um, that really like sparkles in the sun and I just feel like it is giving me major witchy vibes and I feel like it was better for me to buy a black circle skirt at Goodwill as opposed to going to Unique Vintage where I really want to go and spending all of my money of my life. So this um, was really cute and this was $5.99. Next, this is also from the costume section. So this little purple skirt, it's actually going to be perfect. I'm doing a character from Bojack Horseman. Um, her name is... Sarah, Sarah freaking Lynn, okay? I'm doing Sarah freaking Lynn, and she has a short little purple skirt, and this is like literally perfect. And I'm doing her music video look. I think it's so funny um, because we, we have been planning to do Bojack Horseman characters since the last Halloween. Okay, and then next, this is also found in the costume section, and I definitely think it's also a dance costume. Honestly, dance costumes are great, and I love finding them because there's like a little bit more quality to that spandex than a regular Halloween costume. These pants that are unbelievable. They are sparkly camo print, like, and they have this like little, I don't know, thing in the front that's supposed to be, be like up on your hips, I guess. I don't, honestly, I hope this fits me. But I just thought these were so funny. And this could be part of Jerk and Bond Strangle. I do also have other cargo pants that are army green that could work. Um, but these are just like so early 2000s, Lizzie McGuire. Like they had to be a part of my collection. And these were $4, so what a deal, man. Okay, and then the last piece of clothing I got from that Goodwill, the skirt, which is way too big, I will say. It needs to be taken in, and it also needs to be um, hemmed. But this, I feel like, is actually going to be perfect for my Anne Hathaway. It looks a lot more black, I'm realizing, like with the lights, but it's actually a dark blue. So it looks just like the skirt that she wears, her schoolgirl skirt, in the movie, which I was really struggling to find at Goodwill's. So the fact that I even found this plaid, um, I just need to hem it and um, uh, take it in at the waist. And I think it's going to be perfect for that look. And this was $5.99. And the last thing I got at that Goodwill was this cauldron for $7.99, which I have a miniature cauldron. I also have a medium sized cauldron, but now I have a ginormous cauldron. I definitely want to take a picture of Taco in the witch costume that I bought him inside of that. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to things I found at the second Goodwill. So for starters, this is my favorite thing that I found there. I think it's so fun. And their costume sh section was honestly even smaller, but I was able to grab this um, from there. There were only like three adult costumes, I think. Like most of it was like just kids costumes too. But this dress, I mean, is this not the most Rosella thing you've ever seen? Like, it's so, it's really weird. Like, there's, like, beads added on, and, like, it is ugly, but I love it. Like, it's the perfect stepsister dress. Um, it definitely, I think, needs a little bit more volume in the bottom in order to make it as gaudy um, as I want it to be. But the top is just fantastic. I mean, like, this is so much to work with. And as I'm holding up, I'm seeing, actually, how sheer this is which I did not notice inside the store. So definitely will need a skirt underneath it, but I could basically put this on top of a different ball gown and I feel like it's gonna work. So I'm very excited about this and you might end up seeing some stepsister stuff from me. This was $7.99. Next, this is something pretty um, normal. This is just like very simple, white, slightly striped shirt. So this is gonna be for Evie from The Mummy. I have every other piece of her costume already. So this was only $6.99, which is great. And then I found this super cute like puff sleeve button down. Um, I think it's from, it has Japanese on the collar. So it's probably from like some website, but I think it's really cute. It actually reminds me of one of these like uniforms that a character wears on the Pokemon series, which I've been rewatching with Ryan, like the original series and it's been so much fun. Um, so I definitely just thought I was like, oh, this is so cute. I want it and I love a sleeve like this. It hopefully will turn into something. This was $5.99. Okay, so next, this sheer top is for Draculaura, 
um, which is a costume that I've been having a little bit of a hard time finding some of the pieces for because it's very specific. But this is like perfect, this type of sheer with a little bit of the puff to it. And even the collar with a smidge of a ruffle, I feel like it's very her. So I was very excited to find this. This was $6.99. And then the last clothing item from that Goodwill um, is just this vest from Charlotte Russe. So this is also gonna be for Draculaura, but I have to paint it hot pink because I've looked everywhere for a hot pink like button up vest and it does not exist. So I was like, well, I'll just buy a vest at Goodwill and then I will make it the way that I want it to be. And that's the way it's gonna be. And the last thing that I got at that Goodwill, I'm so excited about this, um, but it's a Harry Potter holiday pillow. And this side is like Harry's sweater. And this side's like Ron Christmas sweater. And I just think it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. And I definitely am gonna do some photos in my Ron sweater with this when the time comes. So, and it's brand new, still in the package. That's super cool. Um, and this was $6, definitely worth it. Whew, okay, so those are all the things that I got at Goodwill. Let's move on to Dollar Tree, which I was such an idiot because I literally thought for a second that there was no more Halloween stuff and I could not find the aisle. Also, it was very stressful in there. There were a lot of people and they were like not, I don't know, people just kept trying to like turn down aisles where I was standing instead of like going around. Maybe I'm just more, you know, I don't know, mindful of these things, but like it was getting to the point where I was like, get me the freak out of Dollar Tree for the love of God. First things that I saw before I was like, I don't know, yes, there's no Halloween stuff, were these really cute candle holders and they came in two different sizes. Um, this is more of their kind of like Thanksgiving selection. So this is the big size, this is the small size, but I did get three of these. They were a little bit more, they were $2 instead of $8, but I feel like those are really cool and super cute. The shade of orange I'm very much into. Um, and the ones that I bought at Michael's, which you can like see behind there, were actually pretty expensive um, compared to these. I mean, not that expensive, they were like $7 each, but $2 is so much better and I actually love the orange. So I definitely had to get some. Even if I don't end up using them for you know Halloween, I think they will be perfect for more of a Thanksgiving vibe as well. Next, I got four of these glasses. There was only one left of this kind of like dark marbly purple, so I definitely had to grab it personally. And then I got four of these, which is, it still has a bit of that, you know, cool reflection in it, but I thought these were so cute for like wine glasses for Halloween. I do have a bunch of like skull mugs, but I feel like those are better for beer or like cider, and this is definitely much more of the spooky wine glass. So I'm very excited about these. Every single one of these was just a dollar. Next, I got this really cool palmistry sign, um, which is so funny. This actually reminds me of a lot of the stuff that we're seeing at Michael's this year. There's a whole fortune teller section, which I did see last year as well, but honestly, it's gotten so much better. It's so good, it's so good. Um, but yeah, so this I picked up for just a dollar. I think it's really cute. And I might put it near my tarot cards to kind of be there just like all the time. Um, which is the thing, it's like, I'm very much a colorful person, but I also do have like a pretty intense spooky side, I'd say, and I'm into like witchcraft. So um, a lot of this stuff kind of can live in my room year round, which is really fun for me. Next, I got these super cute socks for a dollar that have skeleton bones on top of them. I just thought that was really cute and I'm sure that I will find an outfit to kind of um, coordinate these into. Next, I just got these really cute little pot holders. Um, happy Halloween, because we're gonna be making some Halloween cookies probably pretty soon. And I feel like this would be really cute in a shot of like the cookies on a plate, like these in the background and skulls. I don't know, I'm just kind of like already planning the Instagram shot in my head. Then I got some really cool bottles, um, which I'm always looking for more kind of like, I don't know, like crystal-y things to put near my cauldron. So I got this awesome skull. They had it in a couple of different colors, but for me, the purple just was the way to go. That's like very much my aesthetic. This was only a dollar, so awesome, and it's actual glass. And then I also got this bottle, um, which is bat elixir, I guess. No, bat eyes. Yeah, I just thought it was really cool. I love the shape. I love whenever anything has these little like cork tops. Um, so this was super cute for a dollar. It's also like ginormous for a dollar. I just feel like it's such a good deal. 
Then I got this super cute little pumpkin bag. They also had a ghost one and a black cat one. The black cat one I normally would like, but I just actually looked a little bit scary. Um, and the ghost was pretty cute, but for me, the pumpkin's the way to go. Honestly, I think it looks a lot like some bags that are actually very popular right now on like TikTok and kind of in more of, um, of like modern clothing stuff. So this was $2 and I just thought that it was too cute not to get. Next is a tablecloth that is all spider webs. Um, but I bought this because I definitely want to do more backyard photo shoots. And in order to do that, I need different kind of types of backdrops. So I felt like this could be really cool um, on top of something, on top of like a black um, background or something. So I feel like it'll definitely come into play and it was definitely worth it. They had a lot of different table covers too. So if you're interested in that, I would definitely check out the Dollar Tree. And then I got a couple of bags of their autumn leaves, which I've used before um, on ears and stuff. I do think that the autumn leaves that I got at Walmart last year are actually a lot better than these. Um, but this, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. I just want to do some more fall photos, um, kind of like warmer tones. And I have this idea for like a photo kind of surrounded by leaves. So I grabbed a bit of these. I honestly probably need more than this, but um, it's a good start. And then another more fall centric item. I got these really cute little leaf lights. Um, which were only $2, and I just feel like this would be really cute, like strung across here once we're crossing more into the Thanksgiving season. Okay, and the last thing that I got at the 99 cent only store, I honestly am so excited for these, and I hopefully, hopefully you will be able to see them in action, but they had dog and cat costumes, so I bought a bunch of costumes for Taco, because they were only a dollar, so this one is a devil. <laughs> And this one is a witch, which I definitely, Top and I both need to dress up as witches. His mom, Karen, has already had an idea, a vision for the photo shoot. And a pumpkin. So, you know, <laughs> will Taco agree to put these on? Only time will tell. We're pretty sure he's probably gonna hate it. But as Karen said, you know, he's got a good life. He can put on a costume. <laughs> But that is everything that I found today. Honestly, I'm like really happy with the results of this, these trips. And I think it helped me. I had an itemized list of pieces that I'm still missing from just certain costumes. I really went through every single one of my costumes and I wrote down all the pieces that are a part of it, which day that's for, and then what I'm still missing. Um, so now I'm gonna kind of go back through, I think all the items that I have and see what I'm still missing again. And then hopefully I'll be able to order some of those things online that just, I won't be able to thrift. But I feel like I've thrifted pretty much everything that I could possibly thrift. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I am so excited to show you guys the end result of all of this hard work. Oh my gosh. Also, I have a bunch of other Goodwill stuff that I did go shopping. I did when I was back home. So I'll probably do a haul video of all that stuff for you guys too, because I think that'll be really fun to see. I found some really, really cool stuff. Um, and I'm sure you guys would like to see that as well. I would also love to know what you guys are gonna be for Halloween. If you know that yet, please comment that down below. I would love to hear and hear kind of like if you're making it, if you've purchased it, if you are putting pieces together, I want to know, so let me know down below. But that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. But until then, stay spooky. Bye-bye. Off to work on the pumpkin spell.